Now you know our rules for solving equations. You're going to force me to keep that variable on the left and keep 1470 the number on the right. So we know the one guy that's trouble here is this 42. That's a number. It's on the left, but it's supposed to be on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this by dividing out 42 all the way across here. All right, so when I take 1470 and divide by 42, I'm going to end up coming up with my solution here. When I take 1470 and divide by 42, I end up coming up with 35. So W equals 35, or in other words, the width, this should say width because they were asking us to find the width, the width of the field is 35 feet. You can check it, do 35 times 42, you do end up with 1470. So now they're going to go ahead and work with what we envision as a parallelogram, the standard parallelogram, not a type of parallelogram, but a legitimate parallelogram here. Finding the area of the parallelogram picture. Now, what you have to know is the formula is a little bit different here, and that's what the very first line is here. Formula says to find the area of a parallelogram, I'm going to take the base and multiply it by the height. The base is one of the sides of the parallelogram. And in the illustration we have here, there's only one side labeled, so that has to be the base. The height is going to make a right angle with the base and then reach out to the opposite side. Um, so here, looking at this illustration, there's only one other number, so it's kind of a giveaway. Eight has to be the height here. Again, as you can see, what's important here is it makes a right angle with the base. That can be drawn so it's actually outside of the shape. I could draw that height outside, and as long as it makes a right angle with that base, it is still the height, as long as it reaches out to the point that would be the same distance to the opposite side. So once we see that right angle verification, we're going to multiply together that base and the height, and multiply together 16.8 in this case, and we end up with 128. So the area of the parallelogram is 128 meters squared. Sometimes they will draw it just to try and mess with you. Um, they can pick this right side and then draw the height out like this across the parallelogram. It's still the height as long as it makes a right angle with the side you call the base. Sometimes they'll end up giving you the number that belongs over here for this other side when you have this base and the height here. So yes, sometimes they will also give you extra information. You have to realize what that extra information is and take it out of the picture when you don't need it.